Hi Libra, welcome in. And we're just going to get started. Um, so the Libra full moon is going to show you all the ways that you've grown Libra. I really feel like you're going to see all the ways that you have evolved, you've grown. Don't be surprised if you, um, don't be surprised if all of a sudden you feel the need to address things. Okay, is what I'm getting for you. Definitely feel like you wanting to speak about something. And I also want to say don't go so hard on yourself if you're feeling a little more emotional than usual, Libra. Okay, but I do encourage you to look up Look up uh, the current astrology about the Libra full moon. I don't have time to get into it right now. We're going to take a look at money and career first. Now, Libra, you are the first reading of the day, so I may be a little slow. Okay, I may be a little slow. All right. Money and career for Libra. Money and career for Libra. Money and career for Libra, please. Okay. Some of you guys, right off the bat, you might be a little impulsive at work. The Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands, this is kind of like a shit stir, okay? I hate to put it that way, but that's the best way I can describe it. I'm not saying, like, it's not warranted. My cat is legit dragging its fake fishing rod across the living room, if you can hear that. That's what that is. <laughs> okay. So you're just coming across as a bit of a free spirit this week, this the rest of this month actually at work. There may be, you know what, some of you guys might be easily provoked and that could be why you're popping off. That could be why you're popping off here. It's almost like, especially with the full moon Libra, I feel like, just be mindful of people provoking you or instigating a fight, instigating drama at work is what I'm seeing for you, okay? Because you're in this free-spirited mood, like, all right, let's light this candle, <laughs> okay? You're like, I, I just feel like <laughs> those of you that are going to be dealing with drama, you're just like, oh, you want to, oh, you want to go there, okay, let's go there. You're definitely not going to be back and look at the, oh my gosh, Queen of Swords, here you are. Being very direct, male or female. You know, I just, this is your throat chakra. I really feel like this full moon is going to make you want to speak about some things that you may have been holding back on speaking. Maybe you've been trying to be the diplomat. Maybe you've been trying to keep the peace. Now, this, this full moon, we're talking about money and career, but it's going to affect relationships, right? But it only affects the relationships that there's already some sort of underlining problem. So it's not like magically a problem's going to drop out of nowhere. It's going to highlight the areas where that need to be addressed. And why do I feel like you're going to be addressing it? Now, just because the cards say it don't mean you have to. Don't give your power away, but man, does it feel like you're going to be speaking about something at work. Or you're just not going to let people walk all over you. I just really feel like you're going to, you're going to be in this weird mood, Libra. Or at least it's going to, it might seem odd to others around you. Because the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, it, it's almost like people are going to be like, well, that's out of character. But it's warranted. You know what I'm saying? It's warranted, like... Somebody comes in, provokes you, and so you're like, okay, let's stir the pot then. Let's stir it. <laughs> what else for money and career? What else for money and career for Libra? Yeah, guys, the hermit, it's just going to keep telling me that. 
you could ha you could have people around you trying to steal your ideas or, or you know your character or assassinate your character here. There might be someone around you being very strategically behind your like, acting strategically behind your back. I don't like that. I see some of you guys. You're gonna be like in this hermit mode. You're not gonna want to deal with anybody. Keeping to yourself because you don't trust anyone at the workplace. Page of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. Those of you that have been applying for other jobs, I do see an application review here. And I do see you getting a call back. Okay, because the Three of Pentacles, you are someone that this company would like to work with. That's specifically for those of you that are applying for jobs. I definitely see a call back here. A step up in your career as well in the future. Six of Wands. There could be someone around you that wants your position or is a little salty about the position you have, Libra, or the you two could be competing for the same position if that's you. You're being guided to act strategically. This person may want to get you to uh, step outside of your character, as a matter of fact. It's almost like somebody here wants other people to see a bad side of you. I hate giving a bad message. The good news is I see you having a level up, six of wands. You're going to have a level up in your career, a step up in your career. Like I see you well established and secure in a position here. Okay. Page of Cups. Will of Fortune. So your advice here is to just be emotionally mature at the workplace as much as you guys are probably not going to want to. Because I do see somebody lighting a fire under your ass. Okay. I do see that. So your, your advice is to think before you act, think before you speak. I see you established and secure in stepping up in your career, Libra. Okay. Is what I'm getting. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely more money coming in or sustainable income coming in. Okay. Financial security. That's the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see how people see you. As always, take it or leave it. Don't force a message. It, there's a lot of Libras out there, so it's not likely it'll resonate every single time. If you're confused or it doesn't make sense, it's not for you. How do people see Libra? How do they see you? How do people see you right now, Libra? How do people see you? Well, there's someone here who wants a long-term commitment with you. Could be younger than you or vice versa. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. You're being seen as attractive. There's someone here. It could be a fire sign, earth sign, or someone with those placements really attracted to you, considering a long-term commitment with you. You get... Well, Okay, that was nice. Y'all, my cats are crazy. This is what I meant by Jasper bullying cash. Jasper, was that necessary? Anywho, they knocked over my phone. So, okay. I'm gonna, I'll timestamp this, y'all. My videos are unedited, okay, so I can't help it. You get the raw truth around here, all right? It's a parade. <laughs> so, okay. All right, give me a second, y'all.
Okay, let's start over, right? So you got someone here, at Libra, that sees you, sees long term with you. They want a long term commitment with commitment with you. Could be a newer connection that's coming towards you or that has arrived. Okay, I'm also getting you're being seen as somebody here could be younger than you. I can't unsee that. I feel like someone here is younger than you or vice versa. But they see the connection with you evolving. They see the connection with you as limitless potential. I feel like this person really wants to get to know you further. Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, and have sex with you. I'm just going to call it like I see it. That's what's on this person's mind. Okay. Somebody wants to take that next step in your connection. They want to solidify the connection. Okay, there's Page of Wands. Uh, I'm also getting like someone here sees you as a flirt. You could be flirting with someone back and forth. They enjoy your text. They enjoy texting you back and forth. Page of Wands. Let's see. How do people see Libra? How do people see Libra? Hmm. You know, people think you have, there, there's someone in particular, but people in general see you as someone who has a plethora of choices. Okay, that you have a lot of options. That you're overwhelmed by choice. People also see you as you evolved. You have evolved this since they last seen you, or you're definitely a lot different than they remember you being. So you could just be getting older, but there's people around you that see you as different. I'm also getting someone, from, you're running into someone from your past with the Knight of Wands. I feel like you're going to run into someone that you haven't seen in a while, and that's, that's going to be their exact thought. Wow, Libra's changed. Libra's different. Libra looks different. Libra acts different. Libra carries Libra's self different. Could be specifically a Sagittarius you run into, or Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Yeah, but people just kind of see you as happy, established. Especially with this Ten of Pentacles here. Like, you come across as someone who is, and now I don't know if you are, this is how people see you. They see you as happy. They see you as well established. They see you as you have your ish together. Okay. Those of you that are working in toxic environment, like toxic work environments, or if there has been a little drama at the workplace, there's people around you that are salty. Okay. I, I don't know exactly why they're salty. You could be the boss or you could be, you just come across as someone who knows what they're talking about. Like you, your energy is this leader or authority figure of some kind. You, you come across as someone who is structured, established. I'm getting people are salty about your energy at work. Okay. Especially if you know what you're talking about. People see you as someone who loves themselves and takes care of themselves. But tell me why... You make people feel bad about themselves, Libra. And you don't have to worry about that, but that's just what I'm getting. Like, I feel like the love you exude for yourself kind of just reflects back to people how they don't love themselves, they don't take care of themselves. So that's why people are acting funky around you because you're a reminder of the thing the potential they have, but they're not doing. They don't they're, they're not doing anything about it. Aries energy is here, fixed. Energy, water, Sagittarius is here, air. My cats are on a whole nother one this morning, y'all. Jasper. I am so sorry, y'all. I hope y'all can, can probably hear that. The first reading of the day always gets the drama, okay? Y'all always get the drama of my cats, I feel like. So, welcome to your turn, Libra. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. We're going to move on to singles and new love. 
if you don't know what that that's Jasper dragging his fake fishing pole. It's like a cat fishing pole with a fake fish on it. He drags it across the house when he wants me to use it on him, but I'm busy, obviously. <laughs> okay. if the shuffling is loud really can't help that too much okay Libra singles in new love so if you're inquiring about a new person or if you are single this message is for you let's see what do we got for single Libras what do we got for single Libras well, you got someone from the past, Libra, that just won't get out of your energy. Okay, you got camera. Someone's reminiscing about you. You can have photos with this person. This person, I feel like in the month, this person is like, for some reason, like coming across the old photos of you and them. Maybe it's in their memories or their history or they purposely went and looked these photos up. This person could have a keepsake of you. Okay, there's someone here you had a connection, the very passionate connection with in the past, an instant connection with this person in the past. They're reminiscing. Okay, this is a connection that has is expired. It's been over. Okay, it's been over. This person's heavily thinking they're they're wanting to come back into your life if they're not already still in your life. If you guys have an ex that remained kind of a friend, this person is considering telling you how they feel. Okay, they still feel chemistry with you. We have clock at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all it's just a matter of time. You have an ex, someone that you've ended a situation with, wanting to come back into your energy. I feel like you're going to hear from this ex. Friend request or, or something along those lines. Give me a message for the singles, please. Only take what resonates, guys. Who's coming toward the singles? Who's coming toward you, singles? The magician. Tell me more. It can be Virgo, Aries, or Gemini. It could be Aquarius as well. Okay, someone you manifested... The magician you manifested this person someone's gonna either appear into your life out it's gonna seem like they came out of nowhere you manifested this person but what's so interesting is the eight of swords now that they're here you're not doing anything about it or when they yeah look the hermit you back away when this person arrives strong virgo energy So, like, you manifest someone, you know what you want, and then it appears in your life, and then you're not so sure about it. You're not so sure anymore if that's what you want. Or even if you want to be in a connection. I, I feel like you manifest someone, and then you start having doubts, Libra. Why would Libra have doubts about this? Six of Swords. Ace of Swords in reverse. You single Libras, you are ch you constantly change your mind. You could be changing your mind on whether or not you want to be in a relationship or if you're ready for a relationship. But there's a constant back and forth. Some of you guys, there's an option. You may have options. Because I feel like that could be why you're so uncertain now. It's like maybe you went so long with a hermit, no options, and then all of a sudden you have all these options, and now you don't know what to do with them. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll, what I'm getting for you singles, the emperor, you could be very career focused right now, some of you, but I'm just getting like a lot of hesitation. I don't know where the hesitation is truly coming from. I'm getting a lot of hesitation to settle down. It's like you want to settle down, you want to settle down, and then when you... Then when it comes, you're, you're so hesitant to take it. Now, this could be predictive energy if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Because the world in reverse, I mean, this almost feels like you don't want to lose your freedom. Or some of you guys are worried about changing your lifestyle. You're worried. You could be worried about moving. Or, you know, really seriously considering the fact that you may have to change locations or move or uproot your life in some way. I don't know why you think that way with a new relationship coming in. Yeah, you see the conflict that comes with it. You're going to start thinking very negatively. I don't know if you are yet, but you're going to start thinking very negatively about commitment in the future. And the reason being, it could be pulling out some insecurities of yours with the Eight of Swords. Just saying. It could be reminding you that you may have to mature with the Emperor and the Empress here. There may be, you may have an identity crisis. Okay. And the reason this is coming out is it's to remind you that, you know, growth is a necessary part of life. And that could be what you're afraid of. We have an emperor and an empress here. I do see a long-term commitment in your future here, possibly with another Libra, a Taurus, and Aries. I have Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo. All right, let's take a look at the new person. Okay, we're going to take a look at the new person. New person. How does the new person of interest view you, Libra? How do they see you? Turning your back on this. The new person sees you getting over them, moving on. Six of Swords. How does the new person feel about Libra? The Fool? Hmm. You're making this new person feel stupid. That's what I'm getting. For some reason, they feel like a fool. Aquarius, Aries energy. We got air here as well. I don't know why they would feel this way. Okay, you tell me. Oh, okay. Three of Cups. You got a new person that feels friend zoned by you, Libra. Okay, they see you as turning your back on them or making some type of change in your life. Change in the attention they were receiving from you. They don't like that. They don't like it. They don't like that you, they feel like you switched up. Maybe something new caught your eye, Ace of Wands. Or that's what they're thinking, whether whether or not they're like, oh, okay, some Libra must be involved in something new. Ace of Wands, the Fool, High Priestess in Reverse. That's interesting. So I don't, why did you turn your back on this person? Let's see. The Hierophant. Okay, I don't know if this is happening now or if it'll happen in the future, but it looks like there's a new per there's a newer, newer person. 
or there's somebody here that you're about to enter a commitment with, or that's where it's going. Like that's where you, like you see it going. Cause I asked why you turn your back on this other person. You guys could have differences, opinions and spirituality for some of you guys, or you guys could have differences of opinions about commitment, but I'm getting someone new. I feel like there's going to be an even newer connection that enters your life or if it hasn't already that's why you turn your back on other people or specifically this new person and then they feel foolish possibly because they didn't show you how much they were interested in you i just feel like there's someone here that feels like you abandoned them left them out in the cold for someone else queen of cups in reverse Yeah. So this new person feels like you're giving up on them for someone else. They're still attracted to you, though, Ace of Wands, but they're just seeing you as someone who is friend zoning them. Okay, that you're no longer they're, they're no longer receiving the attention you once gave them. Yeah, nine of pentacles, nine, ooh, nine of cups, king of pentacles. So here's the thing. You're about to see another side of this person. I'm going to go ahead and bet that there's at least two people in your energy, but there's one you're more focused on, Libra. Now, the one that you're not as focused on is in this period of regret. Uh, you know, I don't know exactly what they're regretting, but it seems to be not, not showing a certain side of them to you or not showing enough attraction for you with the Ace of Wands. And so it's like this person feels like they should have jumped on it when they had the chance, or they're going to feel like they should have hopped on the opportunity with you when they had the chance. Could have been someone playing mind games with you in the past that you turned your back on. But you turn your back on them because there's a new prospect. There's some. There's a new connection that comes in. Or another connection that's starting to get serious. Taurus is here. Pisces. Aquarius. Aries. Take what resonates. Leave what does not for someone else. All right, let's see. Lily, thank you so much for the super chat, babe. I appreciate that. Thank you for the compliment too. I feel like I need I need I need compliments right now. I'm I'm very like what I, I'm like in that energy of like what am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. <clears throat> okay, spirit, let's see. The current slash past is this someone that you've had a past incident with? It's just because you're the first reading of the day, Libra. Somebody had to be it, so. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. All right, let's see. Has this person apologized to you? Some of you guys, it's an informal apology. Like, I'm not sure if it was an actual apology or like a peace offering is what I'm getting. Somebody may have came in with a peace offering. I, I definitely see communication coming in here. They want to express themselves, the magician. So this current slash past person desires to make things right with you on some level. I don't know what happened here, but they desire communication. Yeah, five of wands. 
So you're in some sort of drama with this person. And I'm getting now. The drama is now, okay? Or you haven't released whatever... You haven't released this. How does Libra feel about this person? You feel like this is a struggle. You see the connection as a struggle. Some of you guys are barely hanging on. What is the... What? I'm getting you're barely hanging on to the situation. You think it's too much drama. You could use someone as manipulative or it's like... It's almost like this person comes across as someone who's real sweet, innocent, but you know, you know, there's another side of them. Like you, you're, you're seeing the truth, Ace of Swords. You're seeing the truth in this person, and, and it's it's a real cunning behavior. Like it's a real, um, it's intentional too. The magician is intentional. That's a card of intention. So it's like this. You, you so you know this person intentionally did something. But they may have tried to play it off or they may try to play it off as if it wasn't a big deal with the Page of Cups. But it was. Five of Wands, Ten of Wands. It was to you. It is to you. Okay, so somebody here is not as innocent as they like to act. And you know it. They may try to convince you otherwise. Let's see, how does this person see Libra right now? How do they see you, Libra? Dedicated. They think you're going to put up with this behavior. I'm just going to tell you right now. They think you're going to continue putting up with all the work. You're exhausted, or you're going to be. Okay. You may... Okay, I'm just getting like... you. It's almost like you wish this person would pick up the, some slack here, or it's almost like you wish this person would... put in more effort. Okay. They see you... Okay. The lovers in reverse... They, they see you as loyal. Okay, they see you as dedicated, that you're going to continue putting in all this effort. That's what they think. How do they feel about Libra? Two of Swords. Knight of Cups. I don't like that. So it's like this person feels like they can keep things surface level and you not find out is what it seems like. Is this making sense? Because the cards are telling me it's like this person, this is the kind of person that will, that tries to act like they do more for you or tries to act like they do more and let you in more than they actually do. Because they know deep down there's some sort of disconnection here or things are not fitting together in harmony. You're, you're, you're not in harmony with this person. And although they know that, instead of working towards, you know, balance and harmony with you, they continue allowing you to put in more effort while they remain closed off. Because this person thinks that you're going to be the pursuer. Libra, the doer, the pursuer, that's what they think. They think you're not going to give up on this. And I got to be honest, five of wands, ten of wands, even though this feels very difficult and, and it feels like a struggle, the five of wands is an energy of, you know, not giving up. But the problem here is all of this work you're putting into something 
you don't necessarily feel that connection because this person isn't meeting you in the middle. It doesn't feel like they meet you in the middle. And they know that. That's what I'm trying to get there. They know that they don't meet you in the middle. But they, they see you as someone who's going to continue to pursue. What are their next actions? So it's like this person doesn't want to... They don't want you... They don't want to lose you, though. That's why they're coming in with this communication. That's why they're coming in with this, uh, it's like a it's a, a, a peace offer, offering. For some of you, possibly even an apology. They know, they know that you are owed one. Okay. But with the two of swords here, it's almost like they're like, well, I'll, I'll just let my actions speak for myself. So if you don't necessarily receive an apology from this person, they feel as if their actions are going to speak for themselves. Like that they don't have to outright tell you that they're sorry, but I, I truly feel like an actual conversation needs to be had here in order to fix anything. Because again, if you let all of this build up inside of you, eventually Libra, it's going to come out in ways that you don't expect. What are their next actions toward Libra? Ten of Cups. <laughs> okay. Five of Swords. Nine of Swords. So Libra, I see this person making things good or, or appear to be good between you guys, right? There's communication. There's... I see you having a really good day, a really good conversation with this person in the future. However... Five of Swords, Nine of Swords. There's still something underneath the surface that needs to be addressed. And if it's not addressed, you may present yourself to be happy on the outside. But on the inside, you're not so not so much. And some of you guys may feel like this is an energy that needs to be pushed aside. But I feel like this is coming out because, no, this is an energy that needs to be addressed. You need to talk to this person about how you're truly feeling and your thoughts on the situation when the time comes. Because this person is coming in to communicate with you. What's their hidden truth? What is their hidden truth toward Libra? I have, okay, it says I have trouble with intimacy. Yeah, I'd say. So Libra, does this person genuinely like you? Yes, of course. They, they like your character. They like who you are as a person. They like what you have to offer, okay? Especially you being this Knight of Pentacles. Like you're someone who has, they, they see the potential for you two to build a wonderful life together. That potential is clear as day to them. And you make them very happy. My problem is you're over here wondering what you could do better. Or you're over here wondering what you're doing wrong or, you know, carrying all of this weight. Right. And it's almost like some of you guys may be trying to avoid conflict in a sense or avoid escalating a conflict. But when you do that and you don't address something that's heavily on your mind, you constantly have anxiety over something it will eventually come out in ways that you don't expect. <laughs> okay. Now the person you're dealing with, their hidden truth is they truly do have trouble expressing themselves. They truly do have trouble with intimacy. They do. And sometimes we love people like that. However, there needs to be a clear, honest conversation about it from both ends. If this is going to work. Whatever they did also, y'all, I'm going to repeat this part, Knight of Cups. They do know you owe an, that you're owe you owed an apology. Like, they do genuinely feel sorry for their behavior. And that tells me they know that their actions have been wrong. They know it. What, Despite whatever they're saying to you, they know their actions are wrong. 
Because the Two of Swords being here, they may not actually say that to you. Okay? They may... Because it's so surface level, the way this person acts and speaks. What's, give me one more hidden truth, please. If they could go back in time, they would do things differently. That's the thing. They know what they did or what they're doing is wrong. They know it. Okay. You could be dealing with any signs, but I'll tell you the strong signs that came out. The energies. Gemini is here with the lovers. Libra. Virgo. Aquarius. Aries. Water. All right, we're going to do all signs, their sign. Thank you. I'm so glad y'all say it's resonating because I have no idea what I'm talking about, if I'm completely honest with y'all. Those of you that read tarot know what I mean. Sometimes I'm like saying things and I'm like, what am I talking? Where is the, hold on y'all. Okay. If y'all seen what's going on back here, this is a hot ass mess. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I gotta get it together. Okay. All signs, their sign. All signs, their sign. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Aries through Pisces, please, for Libra. Okay. If you're dealing with a Libra, ooh, not a Libra, an Aries. The devil, the two of swords. I don't see the Aries letting you in. Not really. I feel like this Aries is going to be closed off. There, There's something that happened to this Aries in their past, I believe. Okay, something that... I feel like something really bad happened to this Aries when they let someone in with that devil card that wanted to come out. And, and now they're just so guarded and closed off. This Aries actually makes life really difficult being this way. The Taurus is a player... Knight of Wands, be very careful trusting this Taurus, okay? It, it, especially if they have already... Dis this is for you, those of you that have a Taurus in your life that has already displayed player ways, fickle ways, in and out, hot and cold. I don't think this Taurus is ready to settle down right now. The Gemini, queen they're very attracted to you, Queen of Wands. I see a gift coming in from a Cancer. You're receiving a gift from a Cancer. I'm definitely seeing a Cancer reach out. The Leo misses you. The Virgo wants to apologize. Okay, if it's a new Virgo, they want to pursue you. You're going to see more effort from this Virgo. The Scorpio is traveling toward you. Okay. Telling me they're motivated to come toward you. The Sagittarius wants to start over. Capricorn coming back around, okay, for a repeat. They're coming back towards you. I see conflict with an Aquarius. Okay, over commitment. Now, the conflict with this Aquarius could go several different ways. Maybe the Aquarius is in a commitment already, or they have commitment issues. But whatever the conflict is that involves the Hierophant could also be differences in opinions, strong differences in opinions. Whatever that conflict is, it looks like the conflict will continue. The Pisces is stuck in their head about this. Okay, The, the Pisces feels like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. They want you, though. They want to invest. 
Okay, they're just, there's something about their, they're feeling insecure and stuck between a rock and a hard place. All right, guys.